I don't, I don't even give a f if people call me crazy. Like, I'm crazy, but you're crazy too. Like, get over it. Like, it's just, girl, bye. Look, honestly, I don't even want to make these types of videos, but I think after Trisha Paytas' recent video, DeSocia did, her tweet sums it up perfectly. I know people are telling us to ignore her or block her, but this is our job. We can see our community being hurt. We see people we love giving up. We were supposed to protect you. We promised all of you a safe space. We promised you to make a difference. We have to stand up to this. This isn't about any one person or sim uh, system. Not us, not Trisha. This is about the fallout, how hard it is to get a diagnosis on information on people disbelieving DID. This is about seeing you being hurt without remorse and us saying no more. And the reality is, is that a lot of this isn't gonna stop with Trisha Paytas until people in her life stop enabling her. What's up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. So I usually try to make videos trying to give people tips, advice on things they could do for their mental health, the things that work for me or the things that I learn about. Um, but yeah, sometimes I talk about what's going on in the community because stuff like this isn't cool when it comes to mental health. But anyways, if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And I want to start this video off by saying like, it's just sad, man. This whole thing's sad. Like when I saw this video get sent to me, like I, <laughs> Seven and a half years ago, I'll put it this way. Seven and a half years ago when I got sober, I had to do a fourth step. Some of you know what that is, but it's about your resentments. And you start to see patterns with the things that make you angry, upset, who you resent. And something that was in me that is still something that I struggle with is that I get resentful for other people, right? Like I get upset for other people. Like Trisha Paytas does not offend me. She does not bother me. But when it comes to the mental health community and things that she's doing, like like Dissociate did said, I can't just stand by and watch it happen. But like one of the reasons I feel bad, I feel bad for the LGBTQ community, right? Like when that was going down, when Trisha Paytas was claiming to be trans and you know, trying to emotionally manipulate everybody and cry and all these other things, like looking at it, like, I, I could have done more, a lot of us could have done more. I know a lot of you did support the LGBTQ community when that happened, and I was supporting them from a distance, right? Like, I am an ally of the LGBTQ community. But now I'm like, man, is this what it felt like? Is this what it felt like? Because it feels like a complete mockery, right? And I feel bad for the DID community. Like watching Trisha Paytas' video just now, like I was like sick to my stomach. Like I couldn't imagine, like the, the stuff that I, you know, that I struggle with, you know, I'm in recovery from addiction, I've struggled with anxiety and depression, um, traumatic childhood, and like I can't imagine just watching somebody just completely make a mockery of it. But also, which some, some of you get, some of you don't, and I respect your feelings, but I also feel bad for Trisha Paytas. I feel really bad for her. Like, clearly she's not doing well and she needs help, all right? But like I said, towards the end of this video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say some things that some of you might not, <laughs> might not like or agree with, but we're gonna talk a little bit about enabling, okay? So I just wanna show a couple clips from her video, starting with this one. Tierney definitely came out last week, last Friday when I made the Instagram and the YouTube video to Anthony Padilla. So listen, like Dissocia did said in that tweet that I read in the intro, this is a controversial diagnosis. This is one that people like disbelieve or think people are faking. You know, like as many of you know, I am very into the science and I was communicating with a lot of you in the comments of a couple of my other videos and you know, asking to point me in the direction of some research so I could educate myself more on this disorder, right? But 
one of the research studies that I read was talking about the controversy around this mental illness. And one of the reasons it's controversial is this fear. This fear that somebody will blame and alter for a certain behavior. And in that clip that I just showed you from Trisha Paytas, that's what she was doing, right? Like, imagine, imagine faking dissociative identity disorder, then screaming at another influencer and cussing him out, Anthony Padilla, right, for a 15 second Instagram story, and then blaming it on an altar. So like, I empathize with Dissociate Did and the rest of the DID community because you have somebody out here like Trisha Paytas, like increasing that stigma. I think it's apparent if you've watched me for some time that I don't choose who, what, when, where to show who, what, when, where. All right, we need to talk about this. So here's, here's something that bothers me. All right, so if you watched Anthony Padilla's video with Dissocia Did and a few other people from this community, like, you know, like Dissocia Did, like she had a switch, like right there. It is not this convenient thing, right? And here's what we need to remember about Trisha Paytas. Like, she has been on the H3 podcast for over an hour increments, right? She started her own podcast without issues, but now we're supposed to believe that all of a sudden, when she decides that she wants to claim she has associative identity disorder, now it's happening. Now it's something that she can't control. You see what I mean? And again, I explained this in my last video. Like when we struggle with a lack of sense of self, we get drawn towards different different identities because we don't have one of our own, right? But we need to understand, and I keep saying this, and I taught this to my clients all the time in the rehab, right? Our mental health is our responsibility. It is not an excuse for these types of behaviors. And I just encourage anyone who struggles with this or anything like this or where they can switch and not know who that person was, whether you see that or someone else, don't listen to the internet, the YouTube comments. You need to get help in order to deal with it. And I know how to deal with mine and I've been diagnosed with traits of lots of things. I've said this multiple times. So that, that clip right there, it really upset me. So there's a few things that really upset me about what, what she just said. So one of them is she claims that she's getting help and she knows how to do it herself. Like, no, she doesn't. And like, I hope you guys take things away from my videos for your own sake. Like, we don't. Like, I've worked with thousands of drug addicts in my life, right? There's so much of this stuff that we cannot do on our own. We need help. And I mentioned this in another video. Trisha Paytas, like, she was doing better when she was actively going to therapy and talking about it and learning and practicing these things. And like, although I don't know her, and this is completely speculation, but it seems like she's not doing anything, right? But then when she talks about trying to tell people, like, don't be afraid to talk about your mental illness, don't be afraid, that's very true, right? But in this context, my fear is that somebody with such a large platform is encouraging others to fake mental illness, right? And that is a major issue, and that is something that we all should care about. Influencers have power. Influencers influence, right? Although we like to think that we are just these independent thinkers and nobody sways us or anything like that, like, we will change our thoughts and behaviors based on what we're watching, based on what we're consuming. This happens when you are, you know, if you're growing up in a certain household, if you're in certain relationships, but modeling behavior is something that can happen when you watch specific influencers. And the last thing we need is for young people or vulnerable people to watch Trisha Paytas' videos and think this type of behavior is okay. So the last thing I wanna talk about is enabling. Like, <laughs> you know, I might get some crap for this, but when I watch this stuff going down with Trisha Paytas, it breaks my heart that she has people in her life that just enable and co-sign this stuff. And I wanna make it clear, it is none of their responsibilities to fix Trisha or have her not do certain things. They have no control over that. But when I see, like, especially with her podcast, like every huge influencer she knows 
just flock to it, right? To help support her because she does have good friends, but enabling somebody isn't a good friend. Like she had Shane Dawson on there. She had Ryland Adams. She had Jeffree Star. Blair White, I won't get into that, but I will say this. I've had other influencers reached out to me and they're like, I met Trisha before and she was really nice, right? And I feel that that, and this is just my opinion, I feel that that is a manipulation of other people. You see what I mean? Like, she has this way of getting people to be on her side and then just kind of look the other way when she does stuff like this. But again, like, it's not Shane Dawson's responsibility. It's not Jeffree Star's responsibility or anything like that. But I'll tell you this. If this was one of my friends who was doing these types of things, I would have to love them from a distance. All right? I would have a talk with them and say, what you are doing, how you are behaving is not okay. And I love you, but I cannot be around you until you get help. Because I cannot condone what you are doing. Right? Like, it was just last year when she offended the trans community, well, the entire LGBTQ community, and now the dissociative identity disorder community, as well as other people in the mental health community. And she just bounces from one to the next, right? Is it trolling? Is it for attention? I don't know. But the fact that people in her life are, are not speaking up and not distancing themselves and we don't know for sure. It's not like we see her hanging out with Shane Dawson or Jeffree Star every single day, but we do know for a fact that they continue to hang out with her even when she doesn't apologize or try to seek help and figure out why she's doing this in the first place. This is why I, I advocate so much for therapy, right? So much for therapy. Like, get your butt in therapy and find out why you are doing the things that you're doing. That's step one. Step two is figuring out how to not do those things that you are doing, all right? Like that is the core of cognitive behavioral therapy. There's the cognition part, working on changing your thoughts and challenging your thoughts, right? Then there's the behavioral part, where you stop doing the bad behavior. I, I, don't, I don't dislike people, I dislike behaviors. And the great thing about that is you can't change a person, but you can get that person or hope that that person gets help to change those behaviors. And I'll end with this, I am living proof. If you met me seven and a half years ago, I was the biggest scumbag you would ever meet. And now I'm a good father to my son. I'm a good boyfriend to my beautiful girlfriend. I'm a good son to my parents. I'm a good friend to my friends. I try to be good to all of you, right? And if so if a piece of garbage like me can work on myself, there is no excuse why somebody like Trisha Paytas can't really commit to therapy and, and stop doing these toxic behaviors that are just just really upsetting entire communities. Like, it's just, it's just brutal, man. But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe. I'm usually doing mental health videos to help you with just little tips, book recommendations, and all that. So subscribe, turn the notification bell on. But a huge, huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel over on Patreon, as well as everybody who supports the channel by buying my mental health books at TheRewiredSoul.com. And if you go to TheRewiredSoul.com slash shop, Use the code REWIRED for 25% off my ebooks and audiobooks. That's going on right now. All right. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.